Hello adventure seekers and welcome to Venice, one of the most visited cities in the world. Yes, home to St. Mark's Square, <coughs> the Grand Canal and the Bridge of Sighs. Yeah, but they're not here to see all that stuff. No, that's right. You want to see the true Venice. So we're going to give you our alternative travel guide to Venice, which will take you off that tourist trail. And there literally is a tourist trail. <coughs> that's right, but there's so much more to Venice to see, including... Romantic bridges. Perfect pose possibilities. Quirky canals. At the roundabout, take the third exit. And the world's narrowest streets. So, we've got lots to do. Let's get exploring. We are armed with a map, proper tourist style. Do you need the toilet? Uh, yes, I need to spend a penny. But spend obviously... a euro. You cannot even take a dump for free in Venice. So we have parked um, at the Trichetto. We're on our way into Venice and we've already spent 62 euros. Um, I think it's setting us up for an expensive day. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see. Taking your eyes off the map for just a second can mean that you get lost here in Venice, but that is actually one of our biggest recommendations. Take a turn. Put the map away and get yourself lost because what you discover in the back streets can be absolutely beautiful. I mean, just take a look at what we've discovered. If you stick to the tourist trail, then you're going to find all the global brands like McDonald's, Lush, Oakley's. But if you want to find an extra special, something to pick up, to take home, to remember your time, then head to the back streets. Isn't that right, Nick? Venice has some of the narrowest streets in the world. It's one, sorry, excuse me. It's one of the things I always remember from my previous visits here to Venice. And now I'm on the hunt to find the narrowest in Venice. I'm walking down the street just like I own it. I'm rolling to the beach just like I wrote it. Watching the sun go down is disappearing Because in this part of town it's pretty clear that I can feel the same Venice also caters for all heights. For example, there's a door here for very, very tall people. Nick. Which Nick, of course, doesn't have to worry about as he's of average height. Puerto Rico. Come on, Monday, don't be sad. You will find art everywhere in Venice. It's not just in the main museums and the back streets. It's so much quieter than anywhere else. It's so lovely. One girl or half a dozen cities buzzing A scented summer breeze comes over me And I can hear the sound 
you will be astonished at the amount of perfect pose possibilities that Venice has to offer. But beware, if you want those amazing, very famous, iconic things in the background, then you will have to queue and you'll have to do it pretty quickly, guys. Come Sunday, will you be my wife? From Portugal. Come on, Monday, don't be such a. 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 This is the house of Marco Polo. Ma quando sarà grande verrà a saperlo. Stay off the tourist trail. Come on Monday, don't be such a. Come on Monday, don't be such a. Nothing says love and romance like putting a padlock on a beautiful bridge, and this particular love must be very special. To bring my Saturdays to life. Now that is my idea of spending romantic couple time in Venice. Nick's just popped into this museum and left me holding the ice cream. I can't guarantee I'll still be holding it when he gets back. Oh yeah. Well, one thing to bear in mind is when you're in St. Mark's Square, don't make the mistake I did. Be aware of the prices. First time I was here, I sat down in this spot, overlooking the square, beautiful. Waiter comes over, I ordered an espresso. Um, I think one of the people in my party ordered a cocktail. And the espresso was 11 euros 50. And the cocktail was 25 euros you pay for the view so just be aware because we were a little bit astounded it's the most expensive coffee i've ever had still want that coffee no <laughs> Everyone here is trying to get in on the tourist action. Even the pigeons will pose for a photo if you feed them. It's not something I was ever into on my visits to Venice, but if you like feeding the birds, handling the birds, then St. Mark's Square, a little bit of grub in your palm. alternative view of Venice I hope you enjoyed exploring with us now if you have any tips about exploring Venice then please do put it in the comments box below for everyone to read and me <laughs> make sure you give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you on the next adventure Arrivederci Hello, Venezia.